Hey, hey, Blue Table fans. Today we're going to take a look at a few D&D &D miniatures. Uh, hopefully the lighting is good. What I see on the camera screen is definitely different than uh, what, what I physically see in front of me. Now this is a Dungeons and Dragons Collector's Edition bet here. Now some of you may remember way back in 1982, Module S4 Lost Caverns of Sawcanth came out. My favorite module of all time. And good old E. Gary Gygax had made a whole booklet full of new monsters, including the lightning-breathing desert-dwelling Behir. In fact, here, let me move them over here. Get a shot from above. So there you go. So this rock has a lot going on. It's got purples and greens and, uh, you know, browns. Because you'll notice rocks aren't just gray. And... We added some branches down here because he does live in the desert and those are painted a, a yellowish tint. Now up here I decided not originally because the bony crest along the back here is really this great feature on this model. But I decided that I wanted to make it look more desert like. So I made that an earth tone, but if you look at it in person, you'll see there's about five different colors going on there, which I think gives it a real sort of uh, organic look to it. Uh, notably purples. Purple is what ties this whole thing in together. There's purple shadows. Well, purple shadows basically is, is what it is, like a very, very dark blackish purple. But the scales are turquoise, actually one of my favorite colors, but they also have, again, a brighter purple, some reds in there, and then highlighted all the way up to an electric blue. So there you go. And I got this Storm Giant. He's not done. The base is not finished. I'm still going to pick away at him just a little bit. He, this guy's made of the horrible, horrible, horrible Reaper Bones white plastic, and that stuff is just not great. And uh, But did the did the best I could with it and i um, pretty pleased with how he turned out. It's supposed to be a storm giant, so they have, you know, this sort of uh, ocean-colored skin. And lastly, this is probably the least exciting out of the three, this is a Tick Warrior, Tick or whatever, T-I-I-K, and this is by Reaper. This is also made of the Reaper Bones plastic, which is not great. By the way, I'm trying to hold this camera more steady. I do have a tripod, but then, you know, I'm so far away from the model that... I don't know. Well, maybe that, that does work better. There we go. So, anyway, these are supposed to look like tropical fish, so there you go. All right, well, I hope you uh, <laughs> took your motion sickness pills, and I just wanted to show you these D&D &D figures. These are actually for a client, uh, but I plan on picking one of these up. You can get them on eBay for 30 or 40 bucks. I think it's a great model. Super difficult to put together. You know, be be ready with a, a heat gun and a lot of green stuff. But it's not too bad to do it. It is not, you know, it's not, not like Forge World or something. So, all right, guys, thanks for tuning in. And, you know, just as a last note, for me, this is a precursor cursor to Ultimate Fantasy Role Playing, where I, I, I mean, I already have like 300 models collected for getting the first run going, but it's going to be really fantastic. And I just, I love, I love miniatures. It, it really, really, really never gets old. All right, thanks for tuning in, and I hope you got your inspiration for the day.